Hello and welcome to Iron Deck. I am your host, Peter, and today we've got a box opening video. First things first, I'd like to point out some of my Dragon Con swag from Atlanta. I was there this weekend. It's always a good time to see my friends and uh, live out the nerd life. Uh, Steve Argyle usually shows up there, and uh, I often buy a playmat from him because he's one of the best artists in Magic. Um, beautiful stitched playmat. Um, and for a little bit extra, I got this cool foily, purpley signature up there. It's also signed by him kind of right there. Can't see it because of the iron deck, but, um, I love play mats. I've got a whole bunch of them. And if there are nice play mats, I try to pick one up every now and again. But today, uh, we have some pre-release kits for Dominaria United. I'm pretty excited about these. I have some collector's boxes on the way. And um, can't wait to open those up for you guys. Working a little bit more on this camera setup. It is doing a little better working with the aperture and the blurriness and the lighting and ricocheting light off the walls and all this other nonsense you have to do for a quality experience. But I'm willing to do it for you guys. That's how I roll. We're all about quality here at Iron Deck. All right. So I usually try to open these in such a way to hide the promo code card because I like to be surprised. So we're going to slide that over like that. And we got some packs of cards. Now, there's not going to be any um, Legends cards in these, of course. That's only for the... Collector's packs. I am a little disappointed. I found out of all times today that they're including the common cards. I was thinking it would just be the uncommons, but they're including all the commons. Uh, someone I know opened up a wall of vapor. It's like, eh, if you can include the commons and put one in every box, not two per case, but eh, yeah, is what it is. So let's see what we get out of this. We'll we'll do a little mythic tracking here and um, uh, see what kind of what kind of goodies we get. I'm, I'm excited about this new set. I kind of like some of the throwbacks in it. Um, and uh, let's see. So hopefully that's in focus there, right about there, I think. Yeah. A <clears throat> little uh, twisty on the uh, camera there. So no. There we go. All right. So commons. So these are just draft boosters. So the... Um, there will be the typical commons, three uncommons, and then a rare, and then possibly a foil, depending on how many commons you get. So, uncommon, resolute, Balduvian, a hand of hatred, and a Lanwar loam speaker. Seems good. It's a rare and pretty land there. All right. Moving right along. <clears throat> Common two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So no foil in this one. There'll be nine commons if there's a foil. So uncommon. We got a oh dragon whelp. Yeah, I remember that card. And a erg spawn of turg. Oh boy. And hey, look at that. Our first rare land. Not the biggest fan of uh, pain lands, but is what it is. It's the rare land cycle for the set. All right. So this will have a foil. All right. Oh. Cult, Conscript, Battlewig Mystic, Rona's Vortex, and King Darien. Let's see. 48th. Yeah. I know Roman numerals. And a foil. A line breaker baloth. All right. So we got a foil. That's an uncommon. This might be an okay sealed pool if I were playing uh, limited. Got some beefy creatures. Got some... Good color variation. All right, let's see. So Sprouting Goblin. Iron. Joint Forces, sorry. 
Oh, look at that artwork. That's cool. Baird, Gravian Recruiter. Not bad. I think that's uh, uncommon. Ooh, Jaya. Here we go. Dominaria United. Red Planeswalker. Which might as well be a Chandra. But hey, Jaya. All right. So there's 10 uncommons. Here we go. Coalition Sky Knight. A Blight Pile. Queen Alandal of Raudark. And Threats Undetected. Very rare. They kind of went back to these uh, Pokemon style lands where it's just the symbol in the middle of the card. They're okay. I'm sure they'll be better in foil. Okay. And so just one mythic so far. Uh, we have an uncommon. Slimefoot survey. Aaron. And temporal lockdown. Temporary lockdown. Sorry. Okay. Well. Not the greatest. So let's see uh, what we got here. Okay, how about this? And it's a... Ooh, threat's undetected again. Eh, I think I got one of those. So I guess I'd be playing green-red if this were my pool, right? Let's uh, take this out of, its, out of its coffin here. Seen a lot of people getting crimped cards that come in these packs, but this one is not crimped, so no bonus. All right, let's do it. Anybody excited about standard? I don't know. I think I think now that kind of the COVID sets are cycling out, people will start having pools of cards again, and they'll be able to play. I feel like um, as long as some of those uh, twenty twenty sets are can, are still in standard. A lot of people, I think, are behind on their collections and things like that. But yeah, hopefully it'll start picking up again. All right. Well, here we go. Box number two. Pool number two. All right. Coalition Sky Knight again. Choking Miasma. Am I seeing that right? the heck's a miasma and another hand of hatred and oh ho, ho, ho. and we start with another planeswalker liliana oh that's fantastic i'm already happy all right walking bulwark brawler a Warren Chief, and Guardian of New Banalia. All right. Moving right along. Resolute Reinforcements. Warhost's Frenzy. A bummer rattle. And a Silverback Elder Mythic. Yeah, that's pretty good. Five for a 5-7. Whenever you cast a creature spell, choose one. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Look at the top five cards of your library. You can put a land card into the battlefield tapped. And the rest go on the bottom or gain four life. Yeah, that seems pretty good. For a Mythic, number three out of the two, two uh, pre-release sets here. So I think so far I'm playing black green if uh if uh I was using a second pool. All right, this one will have a foil finally. All right, a micromancer, Joda's Codex, Kurloon Battle Him, and Denithia Finale's Hope. And for the rare. Or, I mean, for the foil, eh, not a rare. It is a common. Banalus Sleeper. All right.
Pilfer. Monstrous Warleech. A Battle Mage Captain and Herd Migration. I've seen this card get some play. That seems like it's going to be a pretty decent card. You could uh, pay two to discard it and uh, search for a basic land and gain three life. Uh, not too bad. The land goes into your hand. Um, and if otherwise, you do a 3-3 three, three, uh, uh, beast creature token for each basic land type. So for all of those uh, five color decks, that's uh, not too shabby. I think you have time to play five colors in standard, at least. So, All right. Final pack. Here we go. Shalai's Acolyte. A Dragon Whelp. Again, uh, a Furry Rider. Saw some of those at Dragon Con. And a Valiant Veteran. Rare. Other soldiers get plus one, plus one. Not bad. Soldier Lord. Okay. I mean, even with just these three, I'm pretty happy with these two packs. It's kind of spicy, but let's see what we got here. Ready? One, two, three. King Darien the 48th. <laughs> it's pretty. I'm happy. Let's see. Let's see if it's uh it's kind of low in the pet. No, it's not crimped. Urgh. Yeah, people go crazy about those crimped cards. So now I'm like always on the lookout for them when uh whenever you're getting these these kinds of packs, it happens a lot in, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, that's pretty smooth across the bottom. Sure is pretty though. Great artwork. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Like I said, stay tuned. Uh, I do have collector's boxes coming in. And um, again, hopefully I won't whiff on the Legends card. And uh, let me get this in a little better focus here. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. We appreciate it. Of course, as you've seen, or if you haven't seen, you should check out the previews coming up. We are planning a live tournament. And um, it should be pretty entertaining. We're going to do our best to make it entertaining for you all. All right. Have a great night.